Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time we're over at the New York Post, and it says Courtney Clinney, OnlyFans model charged with killing boyfriend denied bond. Um, I will post the article writer and all of the details in the description. And before I start my video, I just wanted to put out a little disclaimer. Um, please, when you listen to my videos and I read the articles, please do not take it because of the way that the article is written that I um, am advocating for anything unless I say it out my mouth. Um, please do not assume that, um, you know, <laughs> it's, it's fire and brimstone because you may not agree. Um, I try to be as unbiased as possible, um, when it regards men, women, race, uh, so on and so forth. So please keep that in mind when you do view my videos. And I have a description at the beginning of it, so... I mean, if you jump in front of that bullet, uh, the only person that's going to feel some type of way is you, okay? All right. So with that being said, it says, Courtney Clinney, OnlyFans model charged with killing her boyfriend, denied Bond. The OnlyFans model accused of killing her boyfriend in their Miami apartment was denied Bond after being extradited from Hawaii to Florida to face murder charges, according to reports. Courtney Clinney, age 26, was returned to a jail cell after making a first court appearance in Miami-Dade County. <laughs> On Saturday, she is facing a second-degree murder rap for fatally stabbing Christian O, age 27, in the chest during a fight in April. Attorneys for Clinney who boasts 2 million Instagram followers and a once uh, bustling OnlyFans business have argued that she killed uh, o o o Bumsy, I apologize, in advance, um, in self-defense. In pushing for bail, lawyer Frank P. said that sh uh, she should be facing a manslaughter rap at most and was deserving of a bond package, according to CBS Miami. But the judge, Jacqueline Woodward, denied that bid, sending Clinney back behind bars to await uh, her next court date, as she should, as she should. And I'm going to show you why, one reason why I believe that the judge did the right thing, in my opinion as far as that is concerned. Uh, Clinney was arrested while in rehab and therapy in Hawaii four months after the bloody confrontation inside of the couple's luxury residence. The pair clashed frequently with their fighting so intense at times that building managers considering uh, pursuing an eviction. Clinney claims she threw a knife at Obumzi for a this from a distance after she shoved her um, after he shoved her to the ground, but Miami prosecutors said that the forensics evidence in the case contradicted that claim, and that she stabbed him at close range. Like side note, what she think? She wanted everybody to think that what she was a ninja. Like <laughs> I can't. But move, continuing forward. In announcing her arrest, prosecutors released surveillance footage from the building's elevator that appeared to show Clinzy repeatedly hitting Obumzi, striking this man, like literally tried to throw a hangmaker at this man. And that is the only reason why I said she is where she needs to be. Okay, I have that video as well, so if you stay tuned long enough, you will be able to see that, or you can go look at it as some other content creators, but I do have the full video in detail, along with the press release that um, was given um, with her arrest, okay? So, please, at your discretion. Obumzi's family uh, blasted the lack of an arrest in the case as the weeks passed after his death. 
they asserted that their reluctance to charge Cheney with Obumzi's murder was due to her being white. Now, this is what I'm talking about in the beginning of my video, okay? I cannot help how people write their articles. I read exactly what's on there, okay? So, please, don't don't start white knighting for a cause that's not even there, okay? If you want to know what my view is on certain things, please feel free to ask me. I have no problem with telling anyone my opinion. But my opinion is not based on this platform that I'm on, the family of the murder victim, the family of the accused, so on and so on, the person in the story, period, okay? I'm just like everybody else, I promise you. But, yeah, she really is where she need to be. Judging from what I've seen in that video, um, you know, she was definitely the aggressor. She was definitely the attacker. Um, I find it, you know, very uh, convenient that she went to uh, rehab after the incident, but leading up to the incident, even two days before, which is in the video that I'm about to show you, she actually... <laughs> You know, it was a po it was an incident where she called the police and she was visibly intoxicated. So now after you kill him, you want to go to Hawaii, a nice little plush uh, rehabilitation, and uh, what get your life together now? You know, I I'm not saying that she's a bad person. I don't know this lady or anything like that, but I do believe that <laughs> actions. Uh, if you wasn't trying to get help before that, honey. <laughs> Okay, it's a little suspicious to me, but with that being said, I'm going to now switch over into the other video and things like that. But before I do, um, I just want to say thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you so much for coming to, you know, just listen to what the article entails in my opinion. Um, she is where she should be. Her bail should have been denied just like everybody else. She's not special. So, with that being said, thank you so much, and let's get down in the comments section and talk about this as we do with every other story. And until then, I will get back with you guys in the next one. after her mother left to go home to Texas. At that time, Christian moved back into the apartment. Arguments began almost immediately, with police responding to the apartment. Police reported that Clenny appeared intoxicated when she was contacted on the evening of April 1st, 2022. This was two days before the homicide. On Sunday, April 3rd, 2022, the day of Christian's death, events started peacefully with the couple filming themselves with their dogs in the apartment. A key fob for the records showed that Christian left the apartment at 1.15 p.m. and returned about three hours later at 4.32 p.m. with sandwiches that he had bought for both of them. So what we've done here now, if you look at the screens, um, you'll see there a timeline. Um, well, if you look at it, I'm going to try to go through it because the timing is, is very important to understand in this case. 
So at 4.01, Connie called Christian. <laughs> then she goes live on Instagram. And then at 4.33 p.m., she called him again, shortly after posting the video. At 4.33 p.m., Christian walks into the apartment. Ten minutes later, at 4.43 p.m., Plenty called her mother. That call lasted till about 4.49 p.m., just over six minutes. At 4.49, Plenty made a second call, almost immediately, to her mother. They spoke until 4.56 p.m., a little over seven minutes. I think at 4.57 p.m., Plenty calls 9-11. At 4.57, police officers exit the elevator at the unit. Christian's stabbing must have occurred between 4.33 p.m. when he returned to the apartment with those sandwiches and at 4.57 p.m. when the defendant, Plenty, called 9-11. Also, at the same time during that period of time, that being 4.33 p.m. to 4.57 p.m., neighbors began calling the building manager about a disturbance at the apartment. They called, security called 9-11 at 4.46, notifying them of the disturbance. Eleven minutes later, at 4.57, defendant Clenny called 911 to tell the police that Christian was, was suffering from a stab wound and needed help. On that 9-11 call, Christian can be heard in the background repeatedly saying that he was dying and he was losing feeling in his arm. Defendant Clady is also heard saying, I'm so sorry, baby. In her telephone statement to the police on the date of the incident, Plenty's mother stated she heard her daughter yelling at Christian, remember she's on the phone with her, telling him to leave the apartment, and she heard defendant Clenny saying that Christian was lying. Later, in her what we call post-Miranda recorded statement to the police, defendant Clenny admitted to having caused Christian's injury, also provided several inconsistent accounts about the incident itself. After an argument, defendant Claney claims and says that Christian shoved her against the wall by the neck, and although he did not actually choke her, then she says he threw her to the ground but allowed her to get up. And it was at that point that defendant Clenny went to a kitchen area and got the knife. As Christian sort of approached her, she threw the knife at him from a distance that she's estimated to be about 10 feet. The police observed no visible injuries, which would have corroborated her account, and she had no injuries. <laughs> 